But here was a company that had gone at it from an entirely new angle. It set out to improve the conditions under which the product was made, not only for the sake of the product, but for the sake of the workers too. They were given the first daylight factory. The walls were made 80% glass. The first welfare department for employees was established, which has been the model for industrial relations ever since. The first inside the plant dining room for the workers that has today grown into nine different dining rooms, not counting the main auditorium where the workers can take their lunches and watch a movie while they eat. It is a common saying around Dayton you don't have to carry lunch buckets to NCR. You get a home-cooked meal in the middle of the day, just like home. And a choice of pleasant surroundings where the folks can eat together and talk over problems or just have fun. The first factory medical section with free company doctor and nurses in attendance. Sick benefits, group insurance and so forth. Some of these ideas came from the employees themselves. Suggestion boxes were scattered through the factory and office buildings, another first in industry. After hours or on weekends and holidays when we get together at Old River, the park created by the company for the employees, a stone's throw from the plant. By golly, NCR isn't only a good place to work, it's it's a way of life. Right within the family, our people have every chance to upgrade themselves. Our NCR evening schools, the first of their kind, have been running for more than 50 years. Nor do we consider that our responsibility ends at the factory gate. Every week in the year, several thousand Dayton children swarm to the Saturday morning free movies and other entertainment in the auditorium. Every boy and girl in Dayton that graduates from high school gets his or her diploma on the same NCR stage. <laughs>